the producer really knew Apple, which is otherwise. And uh, there are apples in nature, and also a little bit on the market, which are red flesh, but at a very small scale. But normally you can't eat them because they have a high level of anthocyanins, of the red, red color, and they are very bitter, very acid. And so we cross them with very sugar, sugar, high sugar varieties, which are also resistant against pests and diseases. And out of uh, 10,000 of seedlings, we selected the red love varieties, which are good to eat, very nice pink blooms and uh, resistant against pests and diseases. So when you say you do you cross them, this is all natural. And tell me, if it's not secret, tell me how this is going to So it's, it's, we are working like bees. So we are taking the pollen of the uh, father variety and bringing it on the flower of the mother variety. So we are working the same method like bees. So it's totally natural. There are other uh, teams working on red fresh apples, for example, New Zealand working with uh, genetical engineering and what is very interesting that our product is coming to the market faster than theirs. So how difficult would it be for, a, for an amateur gardener to grow this new type of apple? It is a very easy apple to grow and of course one big advantage with it is that it has resistance to apple scab which can be a big problem especially in the West Country with, with the damp summers. So that resistance means that the gardener doesn't have to use chemical spray. Now obviously this is a young apple, the fruit on the tree won't be ready until the end of September. So I can't actually taste it and tell you what it's like. But what I can do is cut in half to show you that even at this early stage, that it is in fact red all the way through. 